I haven't posted it in about a week, about two weeks or so. Um, the last post that I put was on a little little movie, a small movie that I made, uh, The Fast and the Furious. Um, it was basically different scenes of overlapping, overlapping uh, New Regis Organic Audio, which was a um, song that came out in the movie. Uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty bad. But anyways, uh, as far as uh, the coronavirus thing and everything, uh, regular programming uh, ensued. It literally had... Uh, I mean, the addressment again. It basically, was a. It's, it's been a delegation of project every step of the way. Um, instead of orientating the people, giving them a free education, you know, that will pretty much allow them to pretty much understand epidemiology and pathophysiology a little better, uh, was not put out there. You know, so as far as like common rhetoric, you know, you pretty much get a synopsis of what every, of the coronavirus, uh, the technical understanding, which is highly relevant wasn't pushed up well, pushed up at all and so that's where we're at on that basically a crisis in consciousness I'm supposed to be having a presidential election coming up soon and um, we're pretty much uh, taking uh, it's been taken to another level you know what I mean as far as a, a cognitive uh, population uh, my point my step on it every step of the way was to actually to address um, address the country basically through numbers um uh, no bourgeois, you know, bullshit talk, you know, about, you know, another person's credentials, another candidate's credentials, and take the more populist point of view. A Republican and Democrat basically are very elusive, you know, as far as in their representation of the country, a person's status, you know, our, monet our, our financial mobility, things and the like, and the populist party will probably be the most cognitive approach towards addressing the country. Um, to say, for instance, a uh, populist party would actually address the U.S. Census Bureau and the dynamics behind the infrastructure every step of the way. Um, we don't have that. You know, we have medieval feudalism. We, have, we literally, we've had medieval feudalism. We have one, uh, one, one presidential candidate basically discrediting the other, you know, in, in a contest instead of basically addressing numbers and, to say, working together basically to making the country great again as they would say so that hasn't been pushed forward you know what i mean so the uh, marketing approach for basically you're addressing numbers and their dynamics is has in front of the equation uh, me basically i'm um, orientated a little uh, basically into the uh, the function of society economics and the like uh, i was um i was hoping that we just start addressing tax revenue and addressing tax revenue, basically, we're going to come down to modern money mechanics. And when we understand modern money mechanics, we're basically going to start to curve foreign influence on our economic system and our social life. So basically, I was going to you know, make a big issue out of tax revenue accountability on a daily basis, not a fiscal year. And how it's, uh, how it's expedited. In other words, how the money basically, to say it in uh, is supposed to work, you know, in the people's interest. So, I don't think we're going to be ad addressing uh, tax revenue accountability this uh, presidential election. I sincerely doubt it. Uh, I was hoping that by now the TV, you know, will basically have a, um, a more cognitive approach, you know, to uh, addressing the virus and the influence of, you know, shut down cities. Shut down, uh, you know, shut down world. Um, I was hoping that we literally. I'm hoping that soon we start seeing the top economists, world economists, global economists, you know, share their addendum. You know what I mean? In an open forum where basically the general population can interact and basically become conscious of the issues that emerged. Um, anyone that understands economics, you know, basically knows that cyclical consumption is what keeps the whole thing going. If consumption is ever to stop, then the whole system would collapse. Well, consumption has stopped. I mean, to say to the point where literally we're, we, we're probably in a state of collapse, but not orientated into it because uh, it's not beneficial for some. But ultimately understanding those factors, you do want to address and assess basically how um, how our money or the lack of our money, how it plays a role, you know, in maintaining civility and maintaining order. So again, you know, try, trying to um, trying to get the top economists to share their points of views, you know, I, I haven't seen yet. Maybe on, you know, not on public TV would go. So... 
again, you know, we're, in still, we're still in a crisis in consciousness. I'm no longer uh, uh, doing the Zeitgeist movement um, for several reasons. But to say, in sense, if anybody wants better insight on how things function, um, well, functioned, you know, to the, 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 the virus, um, I suggest that you take a look into the addendum. It's highly constructive. You know, you, uh, you get a lot. Um, you don't have to be a um, scholar, you know, Ivy League scholar to understand these addendums. Um, even the, his, Peter Joseph's literal composure is superior. You might not know what a word means, but again, his literal composure will give you a good insinuation of what he's trying to imply. And ultimately, he said to develop a lexicon that's more on the paralegal side. So again, if you're interested to say in the things that actually matter, check it out.